Like many towns across the north of England, Doncaster has been through some difficult times, but it's now enjoying a period of regeneration thanks to an active council and to local companies like Empire Property Concepts. The company's business model is based on converting disused office buildings into quality residential accommodation and are offering sophisticated investors an innovative new way to get involved in the property market. Here we are outside Danham House, which is an Art Deco listed building, which is our latest development that we're doing in Doncaster. We're converting the old co-op into 78 luxury one, two and three bedroom apartments. The challenges on this one have, have been big really. It's the most complicated building that we've converted. It's been a labour of love, but we really want to see the building converted and you know, brought back to life so that we've got more people in the town centre to, to add to the local economy. The seeds of EPC's business were sown in 2003, when Paul Rothwell decided to buy his student house. He'd soon converted it into flats for himself and some fellow students, and that's where he met his future business partner, Rick Barrow. When their student days were over, Paul decided not to sell the house. Instead, he remortgaged it and invested the proceeds in buying and converting another property. That was the start of what was to become a familiar process, as EPC took advantage of low property prices in the north of England to build an impressive portfolio, generating high yields. They have completed development of more than a thousand residential units and works well advanced on a further 500. In 2013, new legislation simplified the process of obtaining permitted development rights and EPC responded by shifting their focus onto converting commercial properties. To secure the necessary funding, they set up a sister company, Empire Property Holdings. Their research drew them to the loan note structure, which offers sophisticated investors an innovative way to get involved in the UK property market. We liked how it worked, we knew we had Paul's track record built up over a number of years in difficult times, so we were confident that we'd be able to raise the funds, we'd be able to put the money to work and we'd be able to pay people back. And so it proved. The company's first issue raised £6 million, enough to fund five developments. Investors are now being repaid their capital, having seen returns of as much as 27% over the two-year term. Investors often come to visit the sites. Um, we're, we're totally transparent, so we'll show them a property under development, we'll show them a property that's been finished so they can see the finish and they're genuinely impressed with what we've done. We work with the council and the council are happy with what we're doing and encourage us to do more. And, and we tend to find that in each town that we go to. So we're setting a bit of a standard and there's, there's still more opportunity out there.